How's it going Hawks fans? My name is Zach and welcome to a brand new video. Today we are going to be talking about a player named Nikita Gusev. I know I normally go over Montreal Canadiens news and games and stuff like that, but it's always been a really big fascination for me of how well these KHL players will transition into the NHL game. Either way, let's get right into it. Nikita Gusev is a left wing playmaker at the age of 26 who just signed a one year $925,000 entry level contract for the Vegas Golden Knights. But that isn't the beginning of his story because back in 2012 he was actually drafted into the seventh round by the Tampa Bay Lightning. This was the first time his name was ever thrown around the NHL but being a seventh round draft pick and never actually coming over, nobody really knew about him. Since 2012, Nikita Gusev has continued to improve his game, as his stats back then were not exactly too impressive. But if you look back now, in his last three seasons, he has been absolutely dynamite for SKA Petersburg. He really began to shine in 2015-2016, when he was moved to SKA Petersburg and put up 35 points in 33 games after only amounting 14 points in 24 games previous. In 2016-2017 is when he really began his dominance. He bolstered his points putting up 71 points in 56 games. For comparison, Artemi Panarin in his final season in the KHL put up 62 points in 54 games at the age of 23. And you can see how he turned out and how well he's playing now for the Columbus Blue Jackets. This absolutely dynamite season for Nikita Gusev awarded him the 10th highest single season point record for a player in the KHL since the very beginning back in 2008. The following season, Gusev continued to play extremely well, although taking a small step back. He put up 22 goals and 40 assists for 62 points, being his lowest point total since coming to SKA Petersburg for a full season, discluding the 33 game, 35 points that he put up when he first came over. Gusev also participated in the 2018 Olympics. He led the Russian team to a gold medal, beating out Germany in the finals 4-3 in overtime. He put up 18 points in 9 games, leading the entire Olympics in points. And now to the present day. Nikita Gusev absolutely killed the 2018-2019 season. He put up 17 goals with 65 points. And now to the present day, in the 2018-2019 season, Gusev absolutely killed it, putting up 17 goals and 65 assists for 82 points in just 62 games. He absolutely dominated the scoring race, having 13 points more than the second place player. And there were actually only two players in the whole league who had more points than he had assists. This record breaking season actually awarded him with the highest ever single season assist record for the KHL and he only fell three points of KHL legend Sergei Moziakin, I think that's how you say it, uh, when he put up 85 points and Gusev now holds the second all time single season point record in the KHL. Not to mention he also went over a point per game in the playoffs this year putting up 19 points in 18 games for SKA Petersburg, where sadly they lost in the semifinals and they didn't continue. He was the third highest point scorer in the entire playoffs. With all of these stats in mind, let's talk about Nikita Gusev coming to the NHL. As I said earlier, he's only on a one-year contract making $925,000 on an entry-level deal. Um, he's not a very big guy, only standing at 5'9", about 160 pounds, but his play style and his senses should be able to make the jump to the NHL and he should fit in very nicely with the Vegas squad. He's fast on his feet and has great vision of the ice. He uses his hands and his feet work to blast past defenders and find open men on his team. He racks up assists like a madman and his pass first mentality kind of reminds me of the way that Mitch Marner plays. I draw this conclusion because when I'm watching Mitch Marner I can always realize that he knows where his teammates are or where they're going to be and after watching clips of Nikita Gusev he, he shares that same trait. He always has a sense for where his players are or where his players are going to be. And nine times out of ten, he makes a beautiful pass. The big question will be if he makes his debut in the playoffs this year or not. I personally have no idea. But my heart's telling me that his debut is going to be next season. With the way that Vegas is playing right now, I wouldn't want to shake anything up. With them having a 3-1 lead on the Sharks in their series right now, I think it really depends on their next series and how well they're doing in that. If they're starting to fall behind, you might see them trying to shake things up. 
But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I really hope that Vegas doesn't try to push him into the lineup and throw things out of whack. Regardless if he debuts this year or not, I think fans should be really excited to see what he has to bring next year. Um, my prediction is going to be a 65 to 75 point season from him as he is 26 and he's had a bunch of years in the KHL under his belt. I would guess to see him playing top six minutes on that Vegas team. He's a left winger and should fit in nicely on that uh, second line. Maybe even seeing first line minutes depending on how well he's playing. But he really is a dynamic player and I think you'll see him right in around where Panarin is, but I'm not expecting that straight out of the gate from him. Even now, you can see Panarin's numbers, although coming into the season great, have continued to rise the more that he's playing. As much as the KHL and NHL are both professional hockey, uh, the play style and everything is very different, and it could take a player a little bit to adjust. And to talk a little bit more about Panarin, when he came into the league as a 24-year-old, he actually won the Calder Cup. This is because he had never made an NHL debut before, and although being 24, it was still technically his rookie season. I would consider Nikita Gusev a big contender for the Calder Cup next year. He's coming into the league at 26, and I think it all depends on what rookies come in next year. If we see Jack Hughes come into the league next year, I know there's been talks that he might not just because of his size and his weight, but personally, I think he'll play regardless. Um, but I really do believe that he's going to be a contender, and I wouldn't be surprised if we took the Calder Cup next year. I don't entirely like the fact that KHL players can come in at, you know, 24, 26, 27, things like that, and still be in contention for the Calder Cup. I think once you play a season in professional hockey, with minor exceptions, maybe set an age limit, because I know Matthews also played professional men's before he came into the league, um, but I don't like... 26 year olds being able to come in and take the Calder Cup which is meant to be for the rookies for the kids that come in and have a dynamic year and I know he's going to be a rookie but I would rather see that go to a younger player a player who came into the league coming out of junior and really shown that he can do it. Nikita Gusev is a very high energy very exciting player to watch out there and I'm really excited to see how he pans out next year. I'm not a Vegas fan obviously but I can respect good hockey. I love good hockey. Like any team, I can respect when you have good players. And it's going to be interesting to see him on that team. Uh, but either way, I hope everybody enjoyed. Uh, please like, comment down below, tell me what you thought of the video, and tell me what your opinion on Nikita Gusev is. Turn on the bell for post notifications and subscribe for new content coming soon. I'm going to have another video about this style, um, but it's going to be on Nick Suzuki. Um, it's really close to being finished. I'm putting a ton of effort into it and I hope you all enjoyed and have a great day. I'll see you next time. Peace.